Assalamu alaikum and welcome guys Thank you for viewing my recent videos For all those that are newly joining our community Thank you for staying tuned Today is a bit of a catch up uh, I've seen a lot of comments coming in So let's see where things are right now Someone's got a weird alarm going on Okay I've got a bit of a busy day today Oh look at that Ooh, can't see can you my new shirt my goodness things get dusty here quickly and if you can't fit into tight places like me that's it mate you get dirty with it I don't know how I'm gonna clean I'm gonna clean this kind of reach so it looks like I've added another thing on my list get the carry cleaned so this is from England got by the way it's a steering lock and if you want to play baseball you can play baseball and if I had that in the UK if I had that in the UK the police would stop me so with this carry oh, you can't see it the light is really bad there's something called a choke here so when you pull this back it now warms up the engine so it's it's a manual it's a manual way of warming the engine so first things first I'm gonna go and change some money in Basti I've got Zagat money 220 pounds worth of Rafitarana, 10 pounds worth. So I'm gonna get this changed and hopefully tomorrow I'll hand it in to the place that I was instructed to give it to. On top of that, somebody keeps sending me two pounds from one from my family for charity. Me two pounds every day for charity. So I need to sort that out as well before Ramadan ends. I've got my electric bill come through so whilst the carry is opening up uh, whilst the carry is warming up I can share all of this with you guys so because I live in a containment area Wagent, they actually produce their own electricity not only for the factories that manufacture all the goods that the, uh, that the army needs but also for the residents within the Kent area so this whole area is quite big, Wagen's huge, but the Kent area is only small. So I live within that area. My bill comes like this, something really long. I can't pay for this online, I have to go to the bank to pay this. Uh, in total, it's about 27,000 rupees for the month. Uh, there's three bills because there's three flats that are currently uh, empty at the moment not empty but not, not on rent is what I'm trying to say the fourth flat we've got a somebody rented that so he pays his own bills so for now I'm covering the bills I hope everyone's Ramadan's going really well it was really funny you know it's quite cheeky my Tajweed teacher from Egypt when I uh, joined the zoom session he said are you fasting then he, he corrected himself he goes you are fasting how's it going i said going good he goes yeah because i could tell you've got a fasting face and i was like what, what does he mean by fasting face he said your face has gone smaller so yeah i think my face has gone smaller i mean this is a new shirt by the way before ramadan this didn't fit me but now it does so maybe i've got a fasting belly as well <laughs> The carry has warmed up. Time for your travelling the walls. Thank you for those getting in touch 
regarding properties I know some people want to sell sell properties some people want to buy properties yeah to be honest with you I'm not a full-time salesperson I'm also not a full-time youtuber uh, my main job my main source of income is my one-to-one -one tuitions that I do for GCSE physics to mainly kids in well in fact all the kids are in the UK that's my main source of income on the side I'm trying to get into the real estate but then again I can't answer everyone's questions and I can't help every single person I will try I will get in contact with the people that I have to try and help you guys as much as I can I'm very new to this but having said that that video I did make about investing near the airport that is the single one place that I've researched visited multiple times and received feedback on so that's the only one place to be honest with you that I'm uh, promoting people to invest and by the way I was speaking to somebody not too long ago someone who was uh, looking to purchase here in Pakistan and I actually advised him not to I mean he wanted to do it in the sense that he said he, he just wants a house to live in every time he comes he doesn't want to rely on family he doesn't want to burden them and you know be that extra person in the house but then if he's only coming for five weeks a year like what's the point of spending all that money in a house really what is the point um, if you want somewhere to stay every time you come to Pakistan there are people that have apartments and houses that can let that can let it out to you I mean there's brother Shah Nawaz that I keep promoting all the time he's got about three or four apartments he could take it off him so look I'll take it for a month what's the price you're gonna charge me if if he can't provide you something he can find you something if he can't find you something I can try and find you something if you just want that little place to stay at that uh, you don't you don't need to bother anyone and secondly if you need picking up dropping off or taking around there are there are expats here with the company that can pick you up from the airport drop you off wherever you need to provide a, a car with the driver so so you don't have to mess around organizing things with your family and they can take you wherever you need to go obviously living with your family is cheaper it's more expensive having a place to stay even if you were to buy a place even that's going to cost a lot of money yeah so even if you if you if you're buying a place or renting a place for the month it's still going to cost a lot hence why people stay with family is cost effective it's really interesting again speaking to somebody from the uk who said he the, the people that he knows that have relocated to pakistan have a lot of money they're well off and i agree there are a lot of people here that are relocated that are that seem mashallah well off and they have a lot of money coming in whether that's passive income or they're working online remotely wherever that is they do have a lot of money whereas I'm different I'm just your average working person hence why I have to chuck in different jobs to make that little bit of income also I get into debt very easily and then I work my way out of debt. I get back into debt, I work my way out of debt. When I first came to Pakistan, I was on £30 a month, believe it or not. No, not £30 a month, £30 a week. From, bear in mind, from around about £400 a week. I do not know what happened. What in the world of mysteries happened? But my income dropped considerably as soon as I landed in Pakistan and the viewers of this channel really helped me they started sending me money which which really helped because soon after uh, I got here three months into it in three months into my move I was burgled so that money really helped with the burglary get out of that but yeah, I was able to manage my money and try and live off the little money that I have here 
But even now, I'm still doing my tuition. I'm promoting investment near the airport for people, by the way. For people that are going to invest anyway. This is not. I would. I wouldn't recommend everyone to invest. It's. It's just you guys that want to invest, but. Just like everyone else, you're just checking other YouTube videos and and using YouTube as your research, which a lot of people do. So I wanted to chuck my two pound worth of research in there so that you can weigh up the positives and negatives and also give me feedback, which people have given me a lot of feedback. The main feedback is that a lot of brand new housing estates or brand new apartment buildings, if they don't if they don't get enough interest or, or enough money. They can just pull the plug at any second and you can, lo you can lose a lot of money so th th thank you for the feedback guys we always need the positives and negatives to make an informed choice but having said that i still think top city top luxury apartments would be the place i would personally invest in at £54,000, a one bedroom apartment, fully furnished, 10 minutes drive from the airport. The building, uh, if you had seen the vlog that I made, uh, the progress is amazing on the building, how fast they've uh, constructed the site. And they haven't even started promoting their site yet until they've got the model apartments ready. So I think that is a promising. Uh, apartment block and a promising location I've met the owner so I'm quite confident that that is a good investment here we are in Busti guys thank you for joining my journey to Busti this place is busy busy welcome to Busti I don't know if I should pay the bill first, it depends on the queue or exchange the money. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a look, let's have a look. I might just exchange the money first, it's all the way over there. Banks right here. Bank looks quite full. Let's go down there. So I'm just coming out of here. They go this Muhammad exchange here in Basti. They don't have money. It's a come back in half an hour. So I'll go to the bank instead, pay the bills. So it came to twenty five thousand five thirty seven. So that's the bank done. That was literally within five minutes. They will still not have money. So I'm thinking I'll just get the carry washed and then come back. There's no point hanging around waiting for money because here, right? Half an hour could be two hours. We just do not know. No idea whatsoever, guys. So I finally managed to get uh, the money exchanged the the carry was washed nice and clean so it's not dirty my clothes anymore I just really want you guys I mean we've got a lot of new people watching and we've got the people that have been watching my channel for a while now because it's almost like two years old I'm guessing uh, if you want anything in particular for me to vlog about just try and keep those comments coming in when I notice that there's a pattern and there's a lot of people kind of trying to push me in one direction I'll try and stick to that but please do not show me different things so for example somebody was excited and happy for me to try out an iftari at a restaurant which I did do but then somebody commented and clearly wasn't too happy that I'm doing another food vlog so I'm guessing overall generally people don't want to see me eating all the time although I enjoy it and I love it 
I guess I'll keep that off the channel but if there's something you know somebody's been watching this channel they know exactly what I need to do how I need to improve whatever it is put it in the comments if you don't want to put it in the comments contact us via the email if you go to our about section on the YouTube channel you'll see our email address there feel free to email us because I've been changing the channel every time somebody's give us some good feedback and I noticed a lot of you are right I've always listened to you guys and also thank you very much to everyone using my tap tap send code giving you the best rates to send money to a bank account in Pakistan from abroad from from the West especially I have received 20 pounds in bonuses thank you very much and you've also received bonuses